Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video we're gonna finish the part 4 of our react application Alright so basically in this video we are gonna build we are gonna uh, let me just get in here We are gonna make sure that our search input in here is just working okay so let's dive into our visual studio code and first of all let's go in here to our um, app.js and what I'm gonna do in here is just at the top I'm gonna put something called state and this state in here I'm gonna put in here for example query okay ah, I need to put this I need to put this uh, equal so alright so basically you can only use a state in class component. Remember in the previous videos that I, I told you what was the difference like between a class and uh, just like a, a normal component that is not a class. So here it is. In a class component, you can use a state. And a state is almost like a variable, okay? Um, this word in here, you always have to use it. And then in here, you can put whatever you want. So, for example, if you want to put another thing, you could put, for example, uh, like model. And it could be, for example, false. So, a, a state is just like something that you can change based upon some actions that they are going to happen. Okay. And at the moment, this is what I'm trying to do is like this query is just like what we are trying to to look in here. It's going to be the, our search text, okay? And I want it to be initially like empty, all right? So if I go in here, so my query is going to be empty. And now I'm going to start with a function. This function is what actually is going to change our query. So I'm going to put in here, for example, the name of the function search text and this function is going to be like this uh, I can put something like let me see uh, like this okay like an arrow function okay and in here I'm going to put an event okay and I'm just going to do a console.log and I'm going to do event dot target dot value okay so this is going to give me the value that we are writing down in here okay so we got this one let's just try it out so i created this function and basically i'm just getting the value from this input like i said but now let's let's log this and see how does it work i need to go in here into my input and I'm going to put something like this on key up. Okay. On key up, I'm going to run this function. So I'm going to put this dot and the name of the function search text. Okay. So now look on key up. It means that when I'm going to press down a key on the keyboard and I'm going to release it, this function is going to run, okay? So it has this uh, word in here, this, because we are inside of a class, okay? So this function is going to run. So let's refresh, go in here, and let me just open the developer tools. Go to the console. Uh, let me just clear this out, and let's see if it's going to work. Look. A S D F G. Okay, so if I'm gonna put, uh, let me let me just clear this out. If I'm gonna put just for example, uh, matrix. Look, every time I press a new word, it comes up. All right. So we got this part working. So what we can do about this now? We are gonna look if any of these words that we type down they match with any of the names that we have in here, okay? So that's what we are going to do. And for that, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new variable. If you remember in here, our console.log name, okay? I'm just going to refresh the page to see. 
uh, where, where is it? Uh, I think is this one, okay? So this was our name. And it's like an array with all the names of our movies. So we can, we can do something like this in here. Uh, let me just go in here and press let new name is going to be equals to name. Okay, our array that has all the names of our movies. And I'm going to do a dot filter. Okay, and what this uh, filter is going to do is, is just going to return results that are true. Okay. And what I'm going to do in here is a narrow function. Okay. So I'm going to put in here a placeholder, a placeholder like movie. Okay. So when we are, this is this dot filter is going to like loop through all the elements of the array. And what are the elements of the array? These names. Okay. So first is going to go to Dark Knight, Matrix, Fight Club. And that's what I'm putting the the placeholder movie is going to jump through all of them. Um, okay, so we got this one in here and now we should return something. So what I'm going to return is I'm going to return the movie. Okay, so this is the placeholder that I'm going to put and I'm going to put something like this dot to lower case. Okay. And I'm going to put dot index of, and I'm going to put this dot state dot, um, I shouldn't do this yet. So, uh, let me see in here. That's what I, that's what I need to do first. Okay. In our search text function, I need to do something like this this dot set state okay this is what we have been doing before i need to update my query which is like um in the beginning is empty i'm gonna put uh, query equals to event dot target dot value the same thing that i had in here before for my console dot log Okay, so now we got our query, which initially was like this. When we run this function, it's going to get updated. Okay, this is how you run things with React. Okay, so now we are going in here with this new new name. It's going to be equals to name. Okay, like I said, this array that we got in here with all these names of the movies. We're going to do a dot filter to just return the... the um, the results that are true, okay, and you're going to see why, which results are true or not. Uh, I'm going to put two lowercase because if you're going to put like capital words or whatever, you want to convert them to um, lowercase. And then I'm going to put the index of my this.state, okay, this.state.query. And then I need to say that is different than minus one. Okay. And it, it should be it. So now this one, we're going to have this one new name. And now we are going to put it in here. Okay. Like this. All right. So let's run this and I'm going to explain this bit. Now let's just refresh the page and I'm going to put dark Knight. So now, now it's just like working perfectly. So I'm just going to explain this so to see if, if you understand. In here, this index of, okay. Imagine in here, I have like dark night. Okay. Like uh, I'm going to put a space in here and I'm going to put a DRC. The index of is going to look through all the names that we have in here. Okay. like like in here and it's going to start for example this is a string it's going to check what's the index of dark okay and it's going to check in here this is the position zero then this is the position one two three you can even go in here and type down uh, let's say um, javascript uh, index of okay so so you can understand a little bit more 
uh, this one in here. Um, for example, look in here, this example. Hello world, what's the index of welcome? Okay, so if I go in here, try by yourself, look, it's 13. I'm gonna increase the size so you can see. The index of welcome is 13. So if I go in here with my mouse, look, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is where it starts. You see, if it doesn't find the word, so I'm going to put something like this. I'm going to run this try. It's going to be minus 1. It means that it can't find the word, okay? So in here, in this part of the code that I'm putting, this is only return, this is only returning like uh, names that it actually finds it, okay? That's why we are putting it different than minus one. So I guess, I guess that's it, guys. This is quite simple. Um, like I said, this, this is working perfectly now. Uh, I can I could put in here for example matrix um, oops I could put in here maybe I need to just like refresh this um, let me just put npm start again make sure that everything is fine in here okay so if I put matrix Ah, of course, what, what can be wrong in here is if we're going in here and instead of putting the name like this, the name is going to be our movie, okay? That's why we are doing this in here, the movie, okay? So it's going to return a new movie. This is what we are returning, okay? A movie, and that's why we need to put the name is going to be equals to movie, all right? So... Let's try this out again. Let's just refresh. And if I put matrix, that is the matrix. If I put the fight club, uh, fight, there you go. If I put, for example, Godfather, there you go. Oh, wait a second. Uh, there's something in here that is not working properly. So if I put matrix, look at this. It's showing like Dark Knight. Okay, so this is not exactly correctly. So I want to pass in here for my image that I'm going to put in here. Um, maybe in here, where is it? On my movie.js, okay. On my movie.js, I want the movie title to be uh, props.name, okay. Let's see if this changes something. I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to put matrix. Now it's fine, okay? There was something wrong in there. So if I put fight club, now it's correct. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys could understand something out of this and you could learn something. As usual, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you up in the next video.